Hi. Every time I film a video, I want to be like, I haven't been here in so long, but it's, it's true. I haven't really been filming videos. Yeah, hi. I'm living in LA right now, just like for the month. I always kind of live in LA, like April, May-ish. And I'm trying to like get re-inspired and get back into like what kind of content I want to make. I'm kind of just like, I feel like I'm in this, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it, but I feel like I'm in this like transition period. And I'm trying to figure out exactly what that transition is, like what the next steps are. So if I'm a little MIA, it's just because I'm like doing a lot of thinking and rebranding and all that. So um, that's kind of where I'm at. And if you want to help me out, I would love that. Like, I feel like I have a little bit of content burnout, not even like my own, like making content, just like even viewing content. So like, yeah, if you want to help me out with like what content you're loving and who you're loving and kind of just like that, I think I'd really like that. I want to do like a spring haul. Um, some new pieces, some pieces I have had for a while, but they're just pieces that I've pulled out for the spring. Lessening my, my consumption, but I want to still be able to show you guys pieces and like get you inspired without like buying a bunch of new stuff. But obviously some pieces are new and it's kind of a mix. But first I want to talk about Mother's Day because Mother's Day is a tough one. I am working with Missouri. And I wanted to show you two pieces that I think would be great gifts for Mother's Day. Um, I always find it a little difficult to buy for my mom. So there's two things that I think are really beautiful that I wanted to show you. Most of my jewelry all the time is Missouri. Like I just love it. I think I only have second, my second holes. Like I wear necklaces from Missouri every day. This is actually one of the pieces, I will give you a close up, but this is one of the pieces that I think is a really beautiful gift for Mother's Day. Um, and it's just a little initial necklace. I am, mom, if you're watching this, like just, Please skip through but um, I'm probably gonna give my mom a little a necklace her name's Anne Marie so it could be her but my name's like her obviously so I think the a would be really cute and I'm gonna give her one of these for Mother's Day because I think it's just like a really beautiful dainty but like symbolic kind of gift a J that I got for myself Jonathan obviously because I actually lost the J that he got me whoops I actually think I threw them out after a facial, uh, whatever. I, I can't even get into it. I'm so annoyed with myself, but I got a little J because he wears an A and I think this initial necklace is just such a cute way to just like be reminded of someone and like show someone you appreciate them. I just think it's really cute. So I think it's a really very good gift. Moms are always the ones who keep it real. They are your support system. I saw this TikTok late, uh, recently that was like all of the people who have ever won awards and like the first person they think is always their moms. Like moms are just, I mean moms brought us into this world. Like moms are so special. And so I think getting these really simple, non-fussy, everyday pieces for them are such a great way to celebrate them. So the next thing is this diamond necklace. If you've watched my content for a long time, I have worn this necklace every day since like 2016 maybe, maybe 2017. And it's just like one simple diamond, gold, it's beautiful. It's just, this like just reminds me of a mom. And I mean that because it's like solitary, beautiful, and strong. Necklaces are also a great gift because there's obviously no sizing or anything to have to worry about. I will link all my favorite majority pieces down below. Um, as well as these gifts. Let's get into some other pieces for spring. First thing I want to start with is a pair, a pair of boots that I've had for years and years and years. And these are from Zara, but I've had these for like, I want to say since 20, maybe 19, 2018. I don't know, I've had them for a long time and they're just a boot that I continuously go back to. Nice square toe, um, a neutral like snake skin. The heel height is great. They're just a very comfortable boot. So I think when you're shopping for pieces, especially like at a Zara or something, you wanna just make sure that the pieces have a lot of longevity to them. And I think that this boot was such a great purchase for me. I actually really like Zara shoes. I think they're really comfortable and I think that they're very durable and they last a long time. Like I've worn these everywhere and I've had, I've never had a bad, I think there's like maybe a little scuff right there, but I've never had a bad experience in Zara shoes. I think that they are very great, but you just wanna make sure that they're a shape and a silhouette that is gonna last you a long time. These are my favorite boots to pair with jeans. I think they give like a like a westerny cowboy look, but still like very chic and city. And they're just my favorite boots. So I don't think these are available still, obviously, because Zara turns around their product really fast, but I'll try to find some dupes and I'll link them for you. Lately, I have been really into jeans. 
And I have two pairs of jeans that are completely, completely different. Um, one is new, one isn't. So um, these are my Kate Danielle jeans. These are a pricey denim, um, but I find them extremely comfortable. They fit your butt so nice. I love the denim. I did get mine hemmed and I forgot to ask for a European hem and I'm very upset, but I find the waist is great, has enough room in the butt and the thigh. It's like a straight leg. So I think they look really great with jeans. <laughs> they look really great with boots. They're kind of just that everyday jean that is like a staple, simple, will never go out of style. They aren't like a fashion jean, even though they are like fashion. It's not like a statement. It's just like that good classic staple jean. These are definitely an investment. They are expensive, but I think the jeans, if you find something that fits your body that is gonna last forever, it's worth it. If that's not something that you want to put your money into, you can always find like a great vintage jean that that denim holds up really nicely. If you are a tall girl, long legs, um, these will be amazing for you. The next jean is more of a fashion jean. Cargo is very in, and I found these ones on Redone, and really cool, like, kind of workwear denim. They have, the, like, fun utility pockets. Again, the dark wash. I've just been really liking these. Um, if you have really long legs, these would be great for you because they will fit you. I have to wear these with, like, a heel, and they still kind of hit the ground but they're super, super comfortable and love the baggy jeans are in because they'll just give you that really comfy vibe. Uh, and I've just been obsessed over those, so I want to show them to you. On the topic of pants, these are a really nice cargo pant. Um, they fit really nicely. These are from Revolve. This is from the brand Lovers and Friends. And they are kind of like a denim, but like a white denim. Low rise, just like cargo. They're just an all around good cargo pant. If you're on the market, in the market for a cargo pant, this is a, this is a good option. I'll do another bottom since we're on the topic of bottoms. Something else I've been reaching for then now that the weather is getting warmer are my uncle front seam trousers. These are kind of like a mid-rise lighter fabric. My favorite way to wear these is like this white tee in like sambas or even a boot looks great. I love them with the, the snakeskin boots I just showed you, but they're just a, such an easy trouser, super comfortable, lightweight. You're not gonna like get super hot or anything. And they're a great alternative to jeans because they're just a nice lightweight mid-rise trouser. We finally launched ribbed tanks. Again, an uncle. This is the Racerback tank. It's a high neck. It's like the perfect ribbed tank. It's, I'm very picky with ribbed tanks. I find if they aren't the right material, I don't like to wear bra. So if they aren't the right material, they don't give you like the right cup in your boo. And then you want to wear a bra with it. And then it's hard to find a bra that fits with the shirt without showing. So I made sure that this material was really thick and stretchy so that it cups your boobs really nicely if you're not wearing a bra, but it doesn't show your nipples. So the neck is really high, so you can wear, wear a lot of necklaces. It's really versatile um, and it's just, I think we fucking killed it. I love, love, love them. And then we also launched the baby tank and it's just like a little, little spaghetti strap tank again. These ones are really hard to find bras that fit. So having the material be really thick and kind of cup your boob, but not show your nipples is really key. So you don't have to wear a bra. Um, it's definitely like a little more cropped. It like hits the top of like a high-waisted pant, but it isn't like cropped. Um, and I think it's just like the perfect summer, summer baby tank. Like it's so cute. This is like, it's just perfect. It's perfect. We killed it, that's all I can say. This has not launched yet, but I wanted to put on your radar if you're in the, market for like a linen oxford we are dropping this if you have the linen oxford i mean the red sold out so fast last year i love linen oxford because i think the drape is so beautiful so you get that oxford look but it feels a little more like worn and rugged and it's a lot nicer i think for summer but this color specifically like has my heart it's so beautiful it looks like it's vintage like it it just dyed so well that this looks like you picked it up at the bitch's store. I am obsessed with it. This is probably my favorite piece in the collection. It's just so versatile and I'm obsessed with the color and I just, I love it. I love it. The next thing I picked up is from Revolve and this is from the brand L'Academy. And when I was in Costa Rica, I wore these like nylon shorts every day. They were just the perfect like short to be rugged in. So I saw that Revolve had, and I got the black ones that I have off Revolve. I can link them down below if they still have them. I also have a brown pair off of Revolve. So I saw that they had this pink pair. This pink pair is actually a little bit different. It's more like, I don't, more like a, almost like a 70s cut. Like it really kind of flares out 
and they're pink and they're really cute but i love shorts like this for the summer i love them for costa rica so when i saw them i had to had to get them these ones have a little pocket on the back and the pink is really cute i'm kind of in the pink for summer the metallic skirt from uncle i think i mean we've talked about silver so much on this channel it's been a my trends video for the last couple seasons and so this is a metallic skirt i was just thinking about ways i wanted to wear it i actually don't have one yet this is a sample but and i think this with like a white tee and then a leather jacket and a boot is so sick it's like such a classic cool night out outfit or this with a black heel and a tank like i feel like this silver metallic is actually kind of like a elevated neutral it's so versatile and i'm just loving skirts for spring summer again on the same kind of train this is one from lpa and it's more of a like it's like a patent black a little bit different i would say that this one is a little more like it doesn't like the uncle one flares out a bit which i really like because it gives you room for like your butt and your hips without being skin tight this one's pretty skin tight on me but super cool i actually wore it with like tights and a oxford and it looked really nice i like the dimension of this so it isn't just like a flat black skirt it kind of adds something so that one's from lpa this was a shirt i got a while ago it's a men's shirt from acne and i got this because i saw one of my favorite influencers tanya wearing it and i was like i love this it's just a short sleeve men's button down and i think it's just really cool i love the pattern i love the color open with like a nice bra underneath you see that like slouchy kind of vibe and i just i love it i love it always check the men's section i'm telling you men's clothes are so good i got a cute little one piece that i wanted to show you because i thought it was really adorable and i think it i've tried it on it fits really well what's it what's the brand it's from tularosa it's super flattering it's not like the most cheeky thing in the world but still cheeky and it's just giving me like european summer vibe i thought it was really cute with the little detail like the little button detail and then the last thing is the summer vest this is kind of building off the mohair vest that we had in the fall we wanted to make a summer version that still was really fun and had added a lot of personality to your wardrobe but is more lightweight so this would be really great over a t-shirt i also wanted to make it high neck so you could just like wear it as a shirt if you wanted to add a lot of jewelry jeans skirts like it's just such a versatile piece and it's just very very lightweight those are the pieces i wanted to show you for this spring summer hope you guys enjoyed and i'll be back i'll be back with videos don't leave me <laughs> I think what's coming is gonna be amazing. I think it's gonna be really good. Just need to get there. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Everything will be linked down below. Peace and love. Bye.